Okay, so today we are going to be talking about books that I have read, rated, hated, and want to try again. This is probably going to be a quick video and it's just going to be a list of books that I've tried and think that I'd like to try again. Some of these books are books that I plan on trying again really, really soon, and some of them are more of it'll be in the future, but I'm letting you know that it's coming up eventually someday. Let's go. First book on the list is one that a lot of you will be happy to see, and that's Dune. Dune is a book that I feel like didn't get a fair chance with me. I wanted to try the sci-fi genre because I realized that I hadn't given it a fair chance. So I asked for sci-fi recommendations, and one book that came up a lot was Dune. So it was the first book I picked up when I was trying to get into sci-fi. And I just don't think that was good. I think that Dune is a terrible introduction to the sci-fi genre. And now that I've read a lot more sci-fi, still not a ton, I'm still definitely not a master in this genre, but I've read a lot more and I've, I love this genre now. I feel like now I'm better equipped to actually retain what's going on and like what's going on. Dune is still, I remember it being written in a really detached and distanced way where I couldn't feel connected with the characters or the story very well at all. Um, outline the plot for me and it sounds amazing, but reading the story felt so boring to me. That still may be a struggle for me and when I reread it, I still may not enjoy it but I do think that it wasn't given a fair chance based on when I picked it up in my reading life, and I think now is a more appropriate time to give it a go, and I hope that I love it this time. My dad actually loves Dune so much and really wants to reread it, so uh, dad and I share a library account um, on our phones, the Libby app, and or rather, I guess it's my account, but dad uses it, doesn't matter. I put a hold on the audiobook for him, and he was so excited when I told him that it would be available in a couple of months that it made me it made me excited to try it again, so I'm going to reread it alongside him just because I like reading books with my dad and because I think that the book deserves another try. I don't think I don't think it had a fair chance. So in probably about two-ish, maybe three months, whenever that hold comes available, there was a long wait time, then I will I will I will reread Dune and Fingers crossed, I'll actually like it this time. Next book on my list is Red Rising. So this is a book that I DNF'd. I didn't even make it all the way through. Um, wow. I didn't like Daro, I think is how you say his name, the main character. He was so boring and personality list list in the first third of the first book, which is about how far I got. Um, then you throw in the woman in the refrigerator trope, which is what it took for Daro to gain any agency whatsoever, and then he stayed boring after that. I just couldn't be bothered. However, I have had some conversations with people that are diehard fans of this series who assure me it does get better, and I, I honestly don't have, I don't know if this is gonna be a series I'm gonna end up loving or not. I'm either gonna end up really, really happy that I gave it another go and end up really loving the series too, despite its weak beginning, or we're gonna have a, a real big rant review um, if I actually, if I actually push through this book and hate it again, but hate it all the way to the end, We'll, ha we'll have a big discussion. But I never go into a book hoping for that. I don't want to read books that I don't like. So I will give this book another go eventually. And when I do, I hope I love it. But if I don't, we'll have some talks. We'll have some discussions. Next book is House of Leaves. So I actually just talked about this book in my live chat like a week ago. This is a book that I started, I think in November and I'm still only, I think eight or nine chapters into it, which these chapters are long. So it's like a hundred pages, but this book has a lot of things going against it. First of all, it is riddled with footnotes and footnotes within the footnotes. And I hate footnotes. It is one of the things that is the biggest turnoff for me. I've never read a book with footnotes and liked it, ever. And I hate it in this book as much as I do in every other book that does it. Two, it starts out reading like a textbook. It takes so long for it to actually get interesting, or at least it does for me. 
And the beginning of this book was so painful to get through because of the footnotes and because of how boring it starts out. But now, 100 pages in, I'm actually getting to where the story is starting to really intrigue me and I'm curious where it's going. However, <laughs> it has a third thing going against it and that is the formatting. So sometimes we have full pages. Sometimes we have pages with just a couple words on them and primarily a blank page. Sometimes we have pages written where everything is all over itself. And sometimes we have pages that are near impossible to read. So here's the thing. You guys know this about me if you've hung out with me for very long. I'm dyslexic and I have to read things really, really slowly because it's hard for me to I, sometimes it's just sometimes it's just hard to read. Some days I have good days where my dyslexia bar barely bother me bothers me, and sometimes I have days where it's really hard to read because the words get so jumbled. The formatting of this book is honestly so disheartening to read. My dyslexia has felt like a hindrance my whole life, but it has never felt like something that is actually a blockade to me. I found ways around it. I found ways of reading actively that work for me. But this book actually makes me feel so <laughs> discouraged as a reader because it feels like an almost impossible task. And I'm so frustrated too that there's no audiobook. I understand why there's no audiobook because this book would be absolute chaos to try to turn into an audiobook, but if I'm struggling with the formatting of a book, I can usually just switch to audiobook and I'm fine. But I can't with this one, so I just, I feel, I feel so discouraged with this book. I am giving it a second chance. Currently, I am trying again, but I'm at the point now where I have decided that I'm just giving myself permission to not experience a story. I can't tell you how many times people have told me, pick up House of Leaves, you won't regret it. It's gonna be one of your favorite books. You're gonna love it so much, blah, 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 blah. I've, I've had so many people encourage me to pick up this book. And that's why I'm giving it a second chance is because people hype it so much. But I'm at the point now where I'm just giving myself permission to quit if I get this discouraged again. So there you go. What a discouraging reason to stop reading a book. Next book on the list is a book that I promised myself I would never read again, Peter Pan in Kensington Gardens. So this is kind of a prequel to Peter Pan. I mean, I don't know why I said kind of, it is. It starts out with Peter Pan as a new baby and it's his, um, <sighs> It's, it's just some of his backstory. And I hated this book with a vehemence. I hated it because it was wildly boring for the majority of the book where he's exploring the gardens and learning to fly and all that. Um, but then the ending, <laughs> Ah, the ending of this. And a lot of people are concerned for me when I talk about Kensington Gardens, people are concerned that I only read like half the story because I guess sometimes it's formatted where it's only like a little bit of the story and sometimes you get the whole thing. I have the whole thing, I the, the version I have, I got the whole story of Peter Pan and Kensington Gardens and I hated it so much because it was the saddest ending I've ever read in a book. And it was the first time that I actually thought after finishing a book, that author, actually the second time, I thought to myself, that author was just trying to hurt me. They didn't have a purpose. They didn't have a goal. They weren't being, they weren't telling a story. They were just trying to hurt me. And the ending to this book hurt me so bad that I wanted to harm the book. I didn't because it, I happened to own a version that is very, very old and I didn't want to actually hurt it, but I wanted to hurt it. But then the next time I reread Peter Pan, I actually felt like it did serve a purpose and I did have an appreciation for it and I'm glad I read it. And now I kind of want to reread it again. I want to give it another chance and see if maybe now that I get the context a little bit more, I can appreciate it a little bit more. I doubt it. I bet I'm still gonna hate it. But eventually, down the road, not right now, eventually, I do want to give it another chance. The last book on my list is a series and I'm only putting it on this list because people still ask, even though I've addressed this many times, the last series on this list is the A Song of Ice and Fire series. A lot of people want me to keep reading this series and I, I respect that. I know that this is a lot of people's favorite series. I know that there's a lot of levels of what's amazing in this series. There's a lot of things that made me really not connect with this series. There were things that I loved in the first book and I think that the characters are um, the characters that I wanted to keep following and I wanted to keep learning about and the world is really intriguing as well but there were also a lot of things about this uh, about the first book that I just really didn't enjoy reading and then I moved on to book two and I didn't I wasn't enjoying reading it at all and um, I just 
I just got tired of trying to read something that I wasn't, I wasn't liking nearly enough to keep reading that many pages of. There's still a part of me that thinks that I could potentially really enjoy this series and I'm willing to give it another try in the future. I just don't, I wasn't enjoying myself enough to want to continue at the time. And now there are other series that I'm way more excited about that I'm enjoying so much more that this series is not on the top of my list. I know you guys want me to love it so much, but as of right now, I'm not in a hurry to keep going. I will eventually try this series again, but there's just so many books and series out there that I'm enjoying so much more that I'd rather be reading. So they're my focus right now. And eventually I'll come back to this and I will try it again. And I will read a little bit further and decide if I want, you know, if it's a series that I can fall in love with or decide if it's just not the right one for me. This has got to be the most frequently requested series for me to continue. But I mean, I have to enjoy what I'm reading. Otherwise reading is just a chore and this is just not a series I'm excited about right now. But eventually, it is on this list. I've addressed it again. I will continue with the series eventually. So there you go, those are some books that I will give a second try to eventually. Some of them I'm going to give a second try really, really soon or even are in the process of giving a second try. Some of them are someday in the future. Here's a vague promise for it, but it will continue eventually. I'd love to keep chatting about this. If there's any books that you wanna keep talking about or any books that you think that you might like to give another try for one reason or another, I post videos every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I'll see you guys again soon.